Karamoja leaders are crying out to government and humanitarian agencies to think of supplying food to residents in the region before famine hits them. Now, the Deputy Resident District Commissioner in Nabila Tooth District, Atim Grace, says that there was an overwhelming crop failure in the region due to drought that was not favorable for planting. Grace's team was officiating at the Farmers Field Day for Nabila Tooth District, organized by Sasakawa Africa Association. You go to the community, people are crying that the government should bring us food, food aid. Crop failure due to climate change is becoming a problem in Karamoja sub-region and is likely to cause famine in the semi-arid area. It's empty, empty. Um, that already tells you there is a big problem, hunger. Many homesteads are threatened of starvation as granaries run out of food in Karamoja. The deputy resident district commissioner, Nabila Tok District, Atim Grace, says the situation should be addressed now. This year we were affected by the drought and that is why we are crying. World Food Program, Office of the Prime Minister should bring food to the people. It's because we had droughts, the rains were not enough, and the harvest was not good. Nabila Tuk District Production and Marketing Officer Simon Loput says the situation may need a quick fix by all stakeholders, mainly Karamoja leaders. Simon explains the cause of the problem. If you look at the second half of the season, beginning July, there have been rains well distributed up to, uh, up to around October. So those farmers who planted something in July after the dry spell got something. This was during a farmer's open day held in Nabila Tuk. The deputy resident district commissioner, Atim Grace, says some of the civil society actors like Sasakawa Africa Association are fulfilling the dreams of the peasant Karima Jong. Uh, Nabila Tuk as a district, you know, uh, many people rely on cattle. They only know that to survive, the only livelihood that you have is cattle. But today when we have this Farmer's Day held, Sesakawa, together with World Food Program, has demonstrated to the people that we can as well have another livelihood out of the cattle economy. Sasakawa Africa Association Extension staff in partnership with World Food Program are working tirelessly to ensure that Karamoja feeds Karamoja. Some time back we used to have food which is not even good, it was very poor quality. But now because of these rampant trainings given to the farmers, our food is now turning from the one which used to be bad to a good one because this year we, they didn't harvest much due to the drought that we had, but they are ready to bulk since they are ready to buy food from other people and then they bulk as a group and sell. Karamajong farmers under the arrangement have been able to bulk clean grains and are accessing markets through World Food Program and private buyers. Story by Douglas Setumba for UBC News.